pressured into believing that they're free while they're being dictated to and yes. manipulated by the men behind the curtain. And of yes. course, one form of dictatorship is being in a prison cell, seeing the bars. You, you know, you you're there. You can touch them. But the other is a far more subtle form of dictatorship is when you cannot see the bars and you think you're free. And of course, the biggest hypnotist in the world is that you know box in the corner of, of, of plasma or, or whatever you want to call it. You know that basically tells people what to believe. And the television, with its reach into everybody's home basically has created this reality, alternative reality for mass brainwashing of citizens. And this has been one of the greatest forms of creation of control by the man behind the curtain. Yeah, it, the ability to make people think that uh, they've arrived at this consensus decision based on their own thinking rather than being manipulated into that. And that's what we, again, we see with this Delphi technique. They bring people in, they subtly control the agenda, control what's presented to them, just as the media and uh, e even the media that is showing fictional stories, they will present a range of choices to them and gradually steer them to, the, to make the right choice, wouldn't you say? Basically, you know, television, what it does is it causes people to suspend their critical judgment capabilities because the combination of sound and images places the individual in a dreamlike state, which basically limits their cognitive powers. And when that's done, you're creating an alternative reality. And that's what public opinion is all about. And that's why, you know, Americans who think that, that they're basically governed by some bureaucrats in Washington, you know, who make laws and hand out money. But that's wrong. Americans are ruled, Americans, Canadians, Europeans, everybody, we're ruled by our prejudices, and their prejudices are organized by public opinion. And so we think that we make up our own minds about everything, okay, because we're very conceited as people. And public opinion makes up our minds. It works basically our herd instinct like we're frightened animals, okay? But there's a very big difference between a man and an animal, and that's something that most people, unfortunately, don't understand. Very true. Now, let, let's talk about some of the information that you got Prior to the meeting, uh, the leaked secret agenda, we reported on this uh, May 30th. Kit Daniels wrote this up. Uh, there were seven large items that you talked about. Have, have you gotten any more information besides this? These were, uh, let, let's just read these for the uh, people who are listening. The number one was nuclear diplomacy, Russia and China, even Iran working together to erode Western hegemony. Uh, a, an agreement between Russia and China on many uh, different economic aspects. The rise of nationalism within Europe, and of course, that happened just before the Bilderberg meeting. There were elections throughout Europe for the uh, European Parliament, and those who were standing for a stronger European Union were rejected decidedly in elections in one country after the other. Uh, the European Union's internet privacy regulations, that's something that is, I, I see that coming about via the transatlantic partnership agreement, just as Americans are going to be hit from both sides with both the transatlantic and a transpacific partnership where they take away our internet freedom. The rise of cyber warfare, uh, of course, we had uh, Keith Alexander, we had uh, former head of the NSA, we had General Petraeus, former head of the CIA, we also had companies like Palantir, Alex Karp that were there. Those guys have been there multiple years. I would say they've probably bought in the consensus. Would you say so? Absolutely. So, you know, I, again, uh, I, I'm still sifting through all the information I got from my sources. But I can tell you there's several issues. We can talk about Ukraine. We can also talk about uh, the, uh, the Russian and the Chinese agreement. There are some uh, points of disagreement between American and European Bilderbergers. And what you just mentioned, the trans TTP, Transatlantic Trade and Investment Partnership, basically, you know, the idea is to put businesses in driving seat, allowing them to bypass the World Trade Organization, and also give transnational corporations a power boost, largely eradicating the influence that respective governments have on trade. In other words, again, the whole concept of one world company, limited corporations, was far more power than any government on the planet. Now, if you kind of look at what was actually discussed, now, one of the organizations most responsible for this tremendous growth, all right, in, in, in the world hunger we can start with, is the World Trade Organization, which was created after the Second World War by internationalists in Washington to serve as a wedge to kind of push free trade among major industrial nations, especially uh, the European community. Now, if you kind of read their publicity and the propaganda, the World Trade Organization established a framework for creating non-discriminating reciprocal trade policies. Now, the reality is very, very, very different. The WTO's anti-national 
original state intent can be really seen in the 1988 slogan, One World, One Market. And that slogan came from GAP, General Agreement of Tariff and Trades. Hang on, hang on, Daniel Esselin. We're going to be right back to talk about Bilderberg, and that's what we saw. I tell you what, a free trade agreement, you don't need thousands of pages of documents negotiated in secret to get free trade if that's what you really want. There's another agenda. You know we'll about right RVs. Back. You've heard about bunkers. But surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com. Providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. The global social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com if you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER for 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and I have Daniel Esselin, tireless researcher on the Bilderberg Group, author of the history of the Bilderberg Group, and on the phone. And we're talking about what happened last week. We're also going to take your calls on Bilderberg. If you have any questions, this is the guy to talk to. He's been following this for decades, even as the domestic press and the international press pretty much pretended that it didn't exist. 
Daniel Estelin, Jim Tucker, Alex Jones, and others were still on the story covering it. And if you have questions for them, questions for Daniel, we'll be taking that in the next segment. You can call 800 259 9231. That's 800 259 9231. For those callers that have been waiting, um, I, I, we want to talk to uh, Daniel about Bilderberg. So, if you could hold your call, if you if you want to call back on another day, we'll try to put you at the front of the list, or we'll take your calls in overdrive. But for those of you who want to talk about Bilderberg to uh, Daniel Estelin, that number is 800-259-9231. Now, just before the break, Daniel, we were you were talking about the World Trade Organization. We really see these agreements like the Trans-Pacific Partnership, the Transatlantic Partnership, they pretty much mirror the Trilateral Commission's goals of uniting first regional uh, economies under things like the European Union, under NAFTA, and then pulling these all together into a global governance. So we now see those trade partnership agreements as essentially formalizing that into uh, into law, into treaties, would you say? Is that, that what they're working Absolutely. on? Is that one of the major you know, agendas? Within the uh, uh, World Trade Organization's regulations, nations are basically prohibited from protecting local economy or tax goods, even when these goods clearly were produced with slave labor. And furthermore, nations are not allowed to give preferences to local economies that hire local people on decent wages uh, to produce goods that then benefit the local businesses and economies, people who pay taxes, played by the rules, and also re invested this you know, money into the local and national markets. The truth is, free trade is rich trade, and the fairness question is basically diversionary propaganda for deluded lawmakers and, and, and the public. It is run by an international financial cartel, and this cartel interests, they control the playing field, who plays, and the rules of the game. And when you expand the cartel's control into strategic areas such as food, for example, the situation gets serious in a, in a hurry. Yeah, and as I look at these agreements, for example, multinationals are elevated to the level of sovereign states, and yet local businesses, people who live and work in countries, they don't have a voice in this. And I think it's also amazing how these trade, or, these trade partnerships are being created in a secretive environment that essentially mirrors the way Bilderberg operates. No one who is elected, no senator, no congressman from America or any of these other countries is allowed to see the documents as they're being created. The only thing that we have from these secretly uh, crafted documents that are being worked on, the only thing that we see is, is what comes out from WikiLeaks. And we see that it affects a lot more than just economic trade. It affects our freedom on the internet. It affects our ability to decide what we want in our food or whether or not we're going to have information about what's in our food. Of course, they want to be able to censor that in other countries, just as Monsanto and other corporations have been able to effectively censor information about the content of food here in America. You brought up a very interesting point about as far as corporations and what they're doing, exactly how they're controlling the trade. Now, during the 1968 Bilderberg meeting in Montreal in Canada, George Ball was the Undersecretary of, uh, of, for Economic Affairs with JFK and Lyndon Johnson. He gave a presentation titled Internationalization of Business, where he defined what the new Bilderberg policy of globalization was going to be and how it would shape the policy of this international new world order. Because when we're talking about Bilderberg, we're not talking about one world government, new world order. We're talking about the concept of one world company limited. So in this 1968 Bilderberg conference in Canada, George Ball, who at the time was of Lehman Brothers, he announced a project to build what he called the world company. And the idea is that nation states, they were outmoded. There are cake form of government. So in a Malthusian world, they can be relied on to, for example, because again, tend to believe that the resources in that country belong to them instead of to the people. So they created this new form of government and they called it a corporation. And the idea would be that this world company would then become the new government. And if you kind of look at globalization, that's exactly what this is. Beginning in the, in the 1960s, and then into the 70s and the 1980s, the United States and the rest of the world was literally taken over by this rash of mergers, uh, larger consolidation of industrial companies, agricultural companies, financial companies, and they were slowly building these giant cartels, you know, to the point where we see now today these giant cartels, which control the resource of the world, effectively run the world. So this is what this concept of world company project literally is all about. And if you kind of think about the fact that they proposed it as their key point for the future back in 1968 that's 45 years ago yes you know it should be scary or should scare the hell out of anybody and we've now seen that pretty much in every sector you care to think about look at the massive consolidation 
of whether it's the banking industry, whether it's communication business, or whether it's even retailing, how it's all consolidated, pushing out the middle-class business owner. We're going to be right back with Daniel Esselin and your call. We're on the march. The